There's a verse in Matthew 17 that has confused me for years. Because in verse 20, Jesus said, If you have faith as tiny as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move, and nothing would be impossible for you. But here's the thing, I've discovered that we've definitely misunderstood that verse. And the explanation is in the biblical principle that is found in these two books that have sold over 20 million copies and made over $400 million combined. But before I explain what this verse actually means, let me tell you a quick story. Because in 2019, I attended a seminar where the host started his presentation asking this question. He said, if I doubled a penny every day for 31 days, what would I have on day 31? And he said, take your wildest guess. I knew it was a trick question, but I began doing the math in my mind. On day one, I have one penny. On day two, I have two. On day three, I have four pennies. On day four, I have eight, 16 pennies, 32, 64, $1.28, $2.56. And by the time I'd gotten to day 10, I had $5.12. And so at this point, I just took a while guess. I said, on day 31, you would have $5,000. Because in my mind, I was thinking if you have $5.12 on day 10, we only have 21 days left. There's no way it could possibly be more than $5,000. But what he said next would totally transform my life even up to this day. Because when I looked at him, he shook his head and he said, no, at the end of 31 days, I won't have $5,000. I will have $10.7 million. Like what? I remember my jaw dropped. I'm like, you're joking, right? Like, but to my surprise, like everyone around me was clapping and they're like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, like, guys, like, have you done the math? Like, it's not possible. <laughs> I was just upset because I'm like, this is how people just come and spew information out and you just accept it without even checking it. The Bible says test every spirit, right? And so in my mind, in that moment, I said, you know what? I'm going to prove this guy wrong. I'm going to show the entire class that you don't just accept what people say. You need to test it to see if they're actually correct. And so I remember getting home pretty late on that day. And the first thing I went for was my calculator and my notepad. Cause I was like, I'm going to prove this guy wrong. But let me show you what I found. Cause as I started to do the math, when I got to day 10, I saw $5.12. I'm like, all right, I got that right. But then I continued. And then when I got to day 20, it was about $5,000. So I was like, oh my goodness. Like I was actually close. I was like 11 days short of what I had initially said, but I was like, Day 20, we have 11 days to go. I think I'm about to bust this guy. <laughs> like, I think I'm about to expose it. But then I got to day 25. And that was when I was like, hmm. Because on day 25, it was 167,000. And I was like, that's impressive, but that's nowhere near 10.7 mil. But from day 25 upwards, something strange began to happen. Because from 167K, it jumped to 335K then 671, then 1.3 mil, 2.6 mil, 5.3, and then 10.7 million on day 31. And at 1.30 a.m. in the morning, my eyes lit up. I couldn't believe it. This guy was actually right. I remember thinking like, how is this possible? But here's what I learned. A lot of people love day 25 to day 31, but very few people are willing to go through day one to 24 to get there. Think about some biblical characters like Joseph, for example. God gave him a vision of what day 31 would look like, but then he had to go through a grueling process in order to get there. David is another example. Samuel anointed his head with oil and said, you're going to be the next king. But guess what? He didn't become the king immediately. Samuel anointed him for his day 31, but he still had to go through day one to day 25 when he met Goliath. And then from that moment, he began to have like an upward trajectory. We set goals and most of our goals are based on what we want to have in between day 25 and day 31. But for a lot of people, you give up too early because you're not seeing significant results between day one and day 25. So when Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, that you say to this mountain, go and it will go. Jesus didn't say it would move immediately. But if you notice, doing the same action consistently every single day produced enough power for the mountain to be moved. Here's my point. It is not your tiny faith that moves the mountain. It is your tiny consistent faith that does it. Because what started off as one penny 
has the potential to become $10.7 million if you are simply consistent at taking action every single day. But I remember like when I discovered this principle, I was like, I wonder if this is in the Bible because if I can see this principle in the Bible, then I'm going to accept it as truth. And so one day I was studying the book of Hebrews and I discovered this verse in chapter six. It says, then you will not become spiritually dull and indifferent. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of, check this, their faith, their actions, and endurance. Actions done over time is what actually allows people to inherit the promises of God. And so I believe this is extremely important because most people give up prematurely when they don't see results early. But the reason why I'm showing you this is I believe that the moment you understand the process, it will at least encourage you to keep taking action even when you don't see anything manifesting in the physical. You know, in February of this year, if you've been following me for some time, I got an impression in my heart to start sharing leadership insights from the Bible for 365 days. And before I started, this principle is what the Holy Spirit reminded me of. He said, there are going to be days and many times when you feel like giving up because you're not seeing the results that you're expecting to see. But just remember that you are making progress inside even when you don't see it outside. You see, because the way it works is just like a tree. A tree grows in two directions. It grows downwards and upwards. The same thing that you see on a tree outside is the same on the inside. And so what the Holy Spirit was showing me is that day 1 to 25 is the development of your root system. Because your roots need to be developed before your fruits can be seen. And so from day one to day 25 is literally working on changing who you are in helping you to become the type of person who has the capacity to manage the blessing of the fruits when you start producing. And so another key lesson that I learned from this is to start small. Jesus didn't say start with a tree. He says start with a mustard seed. Don't start reading the Bible with two chapters a day. Start with two verses. If you're going to go to the gym, don't go for an hour a day. Start with 10 minutes. Because the goal is not to do, the goal is to be. It is why we are called human beings, not human doings. And so I found that it's the reason why a lot of people don't like prayer as well. Because the moment you pray and you don't see the answer, most people just stop praying. But based on this process, seeing how it works, even the Bible says it's not just enough to ask. Keep asking so that you will see. Keep seeking so that you will find. Keep knocking so that the door will be opened up to you. It's a present continuous tense. You don't just do it once. You do it consistently over a long period of time. A lot of people, they see me, they're like, oh, you have so much wisdom. I've prayed a prayer every day for at least the past two years in Ephesians. Father, I ask that you give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of you. Every single day, I have prayed that prayer. And when I started praying it, I didn't see results. I didn't feel like I was receiving the revelation that I thought I should be getting. But I've kept on doing it and I'll keep on doing it to the day that I die. The prayers have been answered because I've been consistent with it. And I'll add a caveat here because it is possible to stay consistent in the wrong thing and still get frustrated when you don't see the results even though you've stayed on it long enough. But just so you don't make that mistake, I've made a video where I show you how to choose what you need to be consistent in so that you're guaranteed results when you get to your day 31. Thanks for watching. What stood out for you in this video? Have you ever heard that question before? And did it blow your mind the way it did for me? Like, I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.